What's going on, guys? Mountain Mitch here, bringing you the pre-game for West Virginia versus Kansas State. Um, Kansas State is a way better team than what their record stands as. Um, I think they've only won two games, and um, they they um, I don't know if they're inconsistent or what, but I, they're better than what people say they are or think they are. Um, the defense is still good. And even though they've lost people, offense, maybe not as good. I mean, when you lose somebody as good as Colin Klein, a Heisman Trophy finalist, it's hard to make up for somebody like that. Um, speaking of the offense, um, they do have Hubert back, a pretty good running back. Um, but they, they also have uh, – they run two quarterbacks this year, and I think they're starting to lead towards uh, Sam's as their quarterback, but they also have Waters there. Um, Sam's is their leading rusher. He averages about six yards of carry. And um, yeah, Kansas State's better than what they what they think. And uh, the bad thing about what she playing Kansas State this week is one, they come off a bye, and two, it's hard to it's hard. To, Bill Snyder's a good coach, and um, say what they would say what they want to say about Bill Snyder. And I figure a lot of Wildcat fans might be mad because they're not winning as much as they won last year, and you know having some of the same dilemmas West Virginia is having of inconsistency and stuff like that this year, but. Uh, Bill Slayer's a good coach, and off the bye week, um, it's, uh, yeah, West Virginia's got to win. I mean, they got to win three more games, and it's going to be hard to do that. And, um, again, I mean, against quality opponents, you know, we're not in the Big East, and I know I say this every week, but there is no more Temple. You know, there is no more pushovers, there's no more of... Uh, these uh, half par teams, even Kansas, put up a fight against Oklahoma last week. You know, and Oklahoma is supposedly one of the best teams in the Big 12. But, you know, it's just what she's got to go out there and play. Uh, we should have beat Texas Tech. We didn't do that. So now we got to move on and get ready for Kansas State. We got to be able to win on the road. And uh, Kansas State fans are a lot like West Virginia fans. They're rough and rowdy in your face. You know, uh, this is the first time West Virginia is traveling there since joining the Big 12. Of course, the last year they came to Morgantown and whooped our ass. But, uh, yeah, I mean, let's just hopefully be able to um, go to Bill Snyder Stadium and get the W. You know, Clint Trigg's got to be more consistent. Um, offense got to start fast, you know, and... Well, she had last week. Cause she had a little in a little groove there and was able to move the ball, but after that, it, they kind of fell off. You know, they started slow and they picked it up a little bit. You know, and got it going, and then they struggled. And I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's the offensive lineman. I think it's the offensive lineman. Listen to the other people and the coaches. They say it weren't. So I. I don't know, but, you know, there's got to be more consistency to win. Once she, once she ran the ball gets good against Texas Tech, I think Kansas State's defense is a better run-stopping defense than what uh, Texas Tech is. But I think we kind of exploited Texas Tech on that aspect, and they didn't really expect that. But um, Kansas State's probably will come out and expect some runs. we got to mix it up in there. we got to be able to do run and pass on both sides of the ball really good. Um, on the defensive side of the ball for West Virginia, we got to stop. we got to slow down. Sam's, um, and Waters, he's more of a, you know, single back court, or single guy back there under the center and, like, four wide outs, five wide outs, you know, and, and going to launch it on you because I don't know if he has a better arm, but, you know, he's more of a pocket passer type. I guess he can run a little bit, but uh, Sam's is more of the dual threat guy. And we, we've played good against some dual threat quarterbacks. Um, I think Texas Tech's guy got away from us several times, but I don't think – I don't know if we expected that or what, but um, kind of lack of effort on West Virginia's side. West Virginia's got to have more momentum to be able to want to win this week. They have to win. And I, I know that we're supposed to only take one game at a time, but, you know, it, and I, I don't think it's time to hit the panic button yet. But if we lose to Kansas State, it might be time to hit the panic button. Because Texas is good. TCU, they're not very good this year. But, you know, we got, we still got Iowa State. Kansas and somebody else. I can't remember 100%. Um, right off the top of my head. But, um, you know, we got to be able to go into Manhattan, Kansas and win this week. And, um, I, mean, I, I just hope that they play 
the whole game like they played the first two, three quarters against Texas Tech. If they do that, then we'll have this game in the bag. But West Virginia seems very inconsistent this week, so we're still waiting to see the outcome. But, um, yeah, just uh, tune into the game. Um, it's at 3.30 e Eastern Standard Time, and um, I think it must be 2.30 in, in uh, Central Time. Maybe? I think that's what what, uh, what time zone Kansas is in. Uh, sorry if I don't know that. I'm not very good on the time zone things. But um, on Fox Sports 1, so it's like right after the um, Texas Tech Oklahoma game, which I'll probably be tuning in to watch that game too. That game makes me pretty excited also. But, uh, yeah, just tune in and come in and watch. And I'll be back for my post-game video, guys. Uh, Mountaineer Mitch signing out. Peace.